Disbelief and misery gripped residents at Oruba Estate in Migori County after a body of a middle-aged woman was found floating in the river. The group of boys swimming along the river spotted the body before alerting a group of women who were washing clothes at the riverbank. Police retrieved the body and have since launched investigation into the issue. Elsewhere, it was all smiles for these people sitting for KCP national examinations in Ruero constituency after a group calling itself Food for Education served them lunch. According to the organization, many children regrettably go to school without food, affecting their performance. Shida kubwa walikuwa nayo ikuwa viatu ama vitabu ama uniform ama shida ingine ilikuwa chakula. Kwa hivyo wakasema kama kuna kitu tunaweza fanya, ile kitu kubwa kabisa ni kuwapatia chakula. Education umesaindia sana wanafunsi wa hii shure, kwa sababu funsi ya mekunja shure ya njakula kitu. Lakini anapofika hapa na kupata angayo lunch, anapata nguvu na anaweza kuendelea kwa sababu ya hii unduma mboi na peano hapa. And in Kakamega, police are holding two suspects who are alleged to have raped a five-year-old girl. The young girl is said to have contracted a severe venereal disease and her guardians are appealing to Kenyans of goodwill to come to her rescue. Mali ambapo inatakikana hui mtota ende, Nikula Eldoret, ama kinyata. Na vile tuko, vile tumechitolea kama wasa Maria Wema, e, hatuna nahuli ama hatuwezi. Tunaomba usaitisi, ili tusaitia hui mtoto, tuokoe maisha yake. While in Samburu, parents have been challenged to embrace girl-child education if the region is to realize development. Rift Valley Educational Regional Coordinator Mary Gaturu regrettably said that Samburu is among the 14 counties where few female candidates are sitting for the exams as compared to their male counterparts. We want the, all the girls to be in school just like the boys. They should give uh, attention to the girls so that they can also be in school. The government has done so much to be able to provide for them and therefore we do not want to see in a girl that is not in the school. And finally, messages of peace continue to dominate the political debate with leaders across the country calling on Kenyans to maintain peace in the wake of heightened tribal tension. The leaders have also appealed for tolerance as a way of fostering unity in the country. We are calling upon uh, the clergy to pray for the country and because Kenya is a religious country, let every one of us pray for this country. But that does not mean that we should not do what is necessary. We should get out, speak peace, act peace, and in all ways. We, we, we would not like to see people uh, going scot-free. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel One, News Hour.